Hello, hello, Ray here, and we are back with Hogwarts Legacy. Today, we are going to be Deke finding like to out... Talk with you when you have a moment. ...what Deke would like to talk to you when we have a moment. We finally have a moment. We have rid the world of Ranrock, and we can find out what Deke would like to do. I know I said we were going to continue on to do the main quest line, but I, I'm pretty sure that's going to involve credits. I just don't want credits until I'm, like, 100% done with everything. Except for the main storyline? Maybe. I don't... I'm not sure yet. Anywho, Deke, what would you like to say? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Uh, Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Ooh. I think I'm gonna have to move that. Is it upstairs? No way. Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. I can take awful. out some spiders. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I will go do I that. Understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. So I don't have to move that. It's just an upstairs area. I want to see what's inside here. I'm on a beach. Can I put more animals here? Oh, I can. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go help Deke's friend. I know that. I'm only trying to help. That cave, I saw the unicorn. In there. I didn't know unicorns were even here. We're going to catch a few of them to take them to a beach, maybe. I don't know. Wherever you want to live. Is there only one? I want more. Maybe they'll respawn and I can come back and get more. This must be Tom's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Oh wait, when I'm ready. I did it again. Beware spiders. Ooh. I don't like spiders. Let's go. Alright, top. Let's release juice here. Tops. Tops, you missed your quota by three files. You know what that means? It means my little customers will be missing their bottles of Samus's shrinking solution. Because of your foolish mistakes, you will be given no food for a week. I also expect you to punish yourself accordingly. When I return for the next shipment, I best see bloody bandages instead of your usual idiotic grin. If you do not meet your next quota plus five extra files, you will lose more than your food privileges. Top's monster is awful. Mm. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Revelio. Bombarda! Confringo! Ooh, 
I'm gonna reach the spider quota super easy. Area looks like where he sleeps and stuff. Hmm. Cute though. Bad, but cute. Oh, oh, oh spiders. Done with you. Oh, oh, that's a big spider. That was a big boy spider. I heard the music before I saw it. I want to fight that spider. Ooh, that's cool. animation was awesome that like just like shrunk down and squished it that's where I came from oh no okay I was gonna make that jump <laughs> hello tabs Ooh. don't like it in here tabs come out And slide time. That's a big spider. Ah. Um, wait. Not what I meant. Not what I meant. That's how you take care of a spider. If you're looking for Tobbs, it seems he has dried up all the leeches here and must move deep into the caves. Tobbs hopes Master will wait for him to return. Much too dangerous for Master to follow. And please be careful of the spiders, Tobbs. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. No. And why is he being so nice to him? This guy's really mean to you. I guess it's his job. Alright, there it is. That is what I call an avada kedavra spider. Quick look at these spiders. Hi, me friend. Right, find this house out for real. <laughs> Shame you're so foul. Feeling that no. house elf is Tobbs. Master, if you find Tobbs' body, the big spider was too much. Tobbs has failed you and deserves his punishment. Tobbs feels weak, sleepy. Tobbs must. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. <sighs> Can we go bury him or something? Leave him here. There was so much leech juice around.
I'm sorry, Pops. table looks familiar seems i'm back at the entrance to the cave how convenient is that blends right into i guess we'll go tell deke about his house elf friend that we just left down there hey deke i'm back i'm back from the cave deke wonderful uh, uh, deke hopes you gave deke's best to tobbs <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he... died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm sorry, Deke. I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. Well, of course, Deke. Please stop by the room of requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. I literally walked out the door. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas, the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts <laughs> had he succeeded. He looks so majestic, though. Look at him. Deke wants to talk to us again. He just left. When you have a moment, uh, please come and talk to Deke. Oh, Deke, my time is set just for you today. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me? Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. I would love to. That sounds a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. And what do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Oh, don't Deke matter, we haven't already caught some. Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Let's go get our animals back in real quick then, our Thestrals. We need a male and a female. Might as well take all three. That way I can put my unicorn in here. Oh yeah, I have a unicorn. Come here, you. And you. We have one more. Where are you at? Where are you? Are you flying around? There you are. So let's let our unicorn out. You're so beautiful. It's a girl, so we gotta keep a lookout for a male. Look! It's so cute. No, oh, come back here. I want to feed you. I want to feed you. Oh, what am I collecting from you? You're in a corner here. All right, let's go purchase what we need from Hogsmeade. And I would like to buy this from you. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Back to Deke. 
Oh man's been through so much and he still has enough time to teach me how to breed animals. What a champ. What a champ. I did it. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Does it matter? Well, huh? toads can go there too. Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. So why do we do we get to have to breed all animals in here? Who another place? Revenia. So dreary. I mean. Swamp. Treasure up there. I want the treasure before I start breeding. Oh, 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 god, no. Muggy waters. There's a cave here. Look, it's got another collection chest. Dark. This juice that I'm always running out of. But we will breed right next to the entrance because I'm not going to walk all the way back here to breed every time. It's really pretty though, like right back here. I mean, if you ignore the fact that it's all dreary, maybe because it's nighttime. Also, maybe because it's a swamp. That's probably the main factor. The breeding pen. How big is it? Oh, it's humongous. Whoa. Uh. Oh, I put it way back here. Good. I also want one of these here because I don't want to have to feed them all the time. And a play majig. Ooh, made it all nice and personal for him. Did you just get the job done and out? He's just waiting there to give birth? Oh, I do. 30 minutes? What am I supposed to do for 30 minutes? I guess we could go collect more beasts. Love you. I'm going to pet you forever. All right, I got all of them, and we still have eight minutes left on my timer. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Hogsmeade and sell off the ones I don't need anymore. By the time I'm done with that, traveling around, doing, getting distracted like I do, we should be able to at least see our Thestrals be born. Who's the scarecrow? He moves. I don't know why that surprises me, but look at all the little stuff. Like, you don't have to come out to this field. There's nothing in this field for you. Except this guy. I shall call you Oogie Boogie. I told you I'd get distracted. Let's see how much time is left. Oh no. I missed it. But it's recorded somewhere, and I will clip it in here right now. What they did? Did they walk out? Look at it! Oh, hi! Come 
come here. I'm nice. Ooh, it's so I cute. Let the newborn Thestral. I should let Deep know about the newborn Thestral. I wonder if anything happened when they were bred. I bet it was gorgeous. Was it gorgeous? Tell me. Was it gorgeous? Okay. Is it nothing? Deek. Things happened. Hello, Deek. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestrals, Deek. Deek is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deek couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When yeah, Deke poetry? hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. He got what he deserved. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Phoenixes are on my list of things I need to catch. So. Oh. oh. What I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if. Deke's gonna give me another quest. Let's walk outside and come back in and see if he gives me another quest. Now look at that. I didn't say anything. I just popped up a letter. I'm gonna read it myself. Deke tells me he shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Please check in with him when you get the chance. He has an idea for you that I thought worth exploring, Professor Weasley. Okay, so it's the next day in real life and I have been super busy. I went and got one of every animal Except for the phoenix, apparently because you have to Deke do this quest to do it. Some exciting news to share. So we're going to see what Deke's exciting news is. And I'm assuming it's to do with the phoenix. So it's called Phoenix Rising. So let's talk to Deke and finish this storyline. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. Ooh. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Uh, we better go rescue it. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? And Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. All right, let's go s do that. But as you can see, yeah, I rescued, I went ahead and rescued all my beasts I had to and bred one of every beast so i have everybody and i even got a shiny niffler but he doesn't look very exciting so i don't know what that's about anyway let's find this cave I do believe i have found the cave why is it always extremely dangerous do not enter and i always enter blockade look what's poachers already here that's unfortunate. I right, let's save this phoenix from the mean poachers. Um, I know what to do. Uh -huh. Even though I, I could have just gone around. Could the I phoenix couldn't. be in there? 
What would a phoenix be doing inside a cave? Aren't they birds? I mean, I know they're birds, but... More spiders. It's always spiders with Deke. Victory that came none too soon. I oh, thought was a special chest. Oh, so this was just to get a special chest. Cool. Keep looking. You see how much a single oh. feather fetches? Uh, no. I want to be stealthy. Oh, fell in. Stayed at the castle. Famous for someone having a pet troll and not my. Uh -huh. no. I'm sneaky. I want all of your treasures, please. And then we got more bad guys, so let's go back. This is all my I made quick work of that. Always spiders, 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 spiders. Done with spiders. Ooh, a golden snitch scarf. I wonder how that looks. I bet it's quite lovely. Where are y'all at? We're keeping people out. Pay attention. More poachers. How many are there? Now, Kevin. Where did I set my traps? Was it lower oh, or up on this field? Oh, I forgot I got that uh, ability when I Petrificus Totalis somebody. If there's somebody around, they also get Petrificus Totalis. That's awesome. It's really handy. <laughs> I got a gate key. poacher in the Wizarding World. Revelio. When does the gate key go to? Well, obviously the gate, but. Ooh, but I'm not a Dumbledore. Hey, you want to come with me? I have a bag for you. No, come back. Hey. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Why don't you just open your knapsack and nab it? Just because I'm a poacher doesn't allow me to put you in. Where'd you even come from? No, no. Well, you look like you're trying to lose. Held your own for a while now, haven't you? How do I get out of here? Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, try me. Instead of knocking me off stuff, that's rude. Where do you even go? Okay. I'm coming, Phoenix. Revelio. I don't know where you are, but I'm coming. There it is again. Where? Where? I'm blind. Beware spiders, extreme danger. <laughs> Sounds like my type of good time. Revelio. It's all you.
make quick work of you guys. Oh, where'd you go? Ah! That was cool. There's more. What are you gonna explode the armor off of them? Don't attack me. If you want a gross, ugly spider, we could be friends. I can't reach him. There. You should take care of that. Cursed fiends. Right? Okay. Continuing up the mountain. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not afraid of using the killing curse. Try me. No, I won't. Where are you at, lady? Oh. That was for high wing? Yeah, y'all did steal high wing, didn't you? I forgot about that. That's so wonderful. Not them stealing high wing, but them me getting to ride high wing. That was wonderful. Nothing in here. Ooh, I got a new talent point. Oh, here's the other collection chest. That's nice. Okay. We got a Christmas tree. It's not even Christmas time. Let's continue on. Oh. They come from this way? Yeah, because the map's open. So let's go this way. Confringo. Yeah, I can figure out where it's. Okay. Safe. Come here. Um, come here. Come on. Ooh, he just came in. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. He's going to be so excited. Let's go. I don't know why she wouldn't just take off on her broom, or I wouldn't just take off on my broom right now. Instead of walking. You know there's probably going to be a fight. Oh, there's not. I lied. Okay. Let's see what Deke has to say. This looks intriguing. Ah! 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 Whoa! 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 Eight legs is simply too many. That was... That was scary. An agruman, agruman, agru, agru, agluman. It was one of those things that Hagrid has in the forest before it died. Incendio. I can't word sometimes. Okay, let's just get back to the room requirement. No, oh, hi, Deke. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke, and I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Dee cannot wait to. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. And I got a new room. What a beauty. You 
you keep it close. Thank you, Deke. That's so sweet. I love Professor that. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. I'll be here for you too, Deke. Is that everything in this quest line? Can I hop out the door and not get another letter? No, that's it. Okay, well, we have officially finished Deke's quest line and unlocked all the rooms in the room requirement. I want to go see what that one room is before I am done for the day. Where was that? Up there. All right, here we go. Ooh. Hi. Hi, buddy. The boy. Here you go. Want some stuff to play with? I need a feeder. And a ball pit. That's for you, bud. Let's give you a... Put a well in here. That looks nice. Get right there. There we go. It's homey now. This is pretty. Ooh, I bet there's stuff to collect here, too. Yes. You know, this area kind of looks like the place where me and a uh, fig went when we were going through that the port key that took us somewhere. Kind of looks like that. But anyway, this is awesome. The room requirement side quests were really, really interesting and really cool. Like, so now I have four vivariums instead of just one. And I think that's it for these side quests, the storyline. So we are done here. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please subscribe. This has been Rhea, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.